So gun control is a heavy duty topic. It's a big topic in the country right now. And New York City is definitely one of the hardest cities to actually be licensed to own a handgun. So the George Floyd protests and the pandemic changed the process and the possibility of getting a pistol license in New York City. I was not aware of that. I don't think our readers were aware of that. So we uh, did the necessary reporting to find out exactly what was going on. The way that this story came to be or came about was in doing my regular reporting on crime in New York City in the five boroughs. Over the course of about a week, I had three different individuals that were victims of crimes that I asked, do you have any plans to secure your safety? Are you going to put an, an alarm system in your business or in your house for that one person who said, who told us that they applied for a gun license almost a year and a half before. And recently when they called in and, and asked about it, the person laughed and told them it was going to be another two years. It was shocking to him and me. He basically had lost hope and said, you know, you don't get a license to uh, have a pistol in New York City. The, those kind of stories, I heard two or three of them within a week. And then I thought this is either not true or this is worth some kind of investigation. The NYPD has a pistol license division. I made a couple of calls and it turned out there was something going on, some kind of slowdown. And the more people I talked to in the NYPD, being I was being told by people higher and higher up the chain, it was not a priority that people get pistol licenses. These officers were not going on the record. They were telling me on background, yes, this is happening. Yes, they have a huge pile of applications and they're not moving at all on them. I was just wondering like, how in the heck do you do a story about something like this? It's like a totally new challenge. What we did was we tried to see if we could get the official data first. And if the official data would bear out what these officers were, were telling me. So what we did was we went to DCPI and asked for the actual number of applications received and the number of applications processed. When the numbers came back to us, we couldn't believe it. Their percentage of processing these applications went from 70% a year before the pandemic to 14% during the pandemic. We knew we were onto something when we saw the official numbers. People who know anything about this topic don't wanna to talk. They don't wanna talk on the record. They don't wanna to talk to reporters. They're not interested. I figured I would go to the business owners. I would go to the gun shops. I would go to the ranges. And here in New York City, there are not a lot of them but they, are, they do exist. And I was able to convince one or two people who knew about this to go on the record and talk about what's going on. And we were able to do two stories on it. And it all came from victims of crimes expressing their frustration to me when I was asking them about a crime that they had just experienced. And that was the genesis of that story.